Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. My name is Seth, aka Nubicle. Today, we're going to be checking out Atmo XL. It's a reshade for Skater XL. Here's some examples of, of what it can look like. That's pretty sick with the vignette, the vig. I like these color corrections. As you can see here, we're on the Atmo XL page on skaterxlmod.io. I'll have the link for that in the description below. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and download it. Uh, you can also come down here but it's just one zip for now. Uh, it says Dependencies XL Graphics, so you are going to have to have the XL Graphics mod installed. Yeah, he's got the text directions right here broken down in, into easy steps. I'm going to try to follow along with this, um, but I know some people are visual learners like I am, so um, I figured I would do a video just to kind of accompany this. I've already downloaded this. All right, so let's begin the installation, gang. Uh, step number one, download the Atmo XL.zip, extract, reshade to desktop, and then run it. I've already downloaded that here. I'm going to go ahead and extract files. Uh, he said desktop. I don't think it really matters, but I'll go ahead and do that. And okay, I got this. We're going to go ahead and run this. I'm going to run it as an administrator just to be safe. All right, so we got Reshade open. It says step two, select Skater XL as the game and click use selected application. All right, scroll down. Here's Skater XL, use selected application. Step three, select Direct 3D 10, 11, 12 as rendering API. So this one here. Note, depending on your hardware, if Reshade doesn't load properly or doesn't load at all, just go to your Skater XL install directory and rename d3d11.dll to dxgi.dll and it should fix the problem in most cases. So that's an important call out right there. Step 4, when prompted, install all shaders except legacy standard effects. So he said all of them. Let's get all these. Except that one, okay. And then we're going to click OK. Once installed, extract atmo xl.ini from the zip folder to the skater xl install directory. We're installing all these shaders right now. Keep going. This is just taking us through each one that we checked. Insane shaders. Insane. Uh, Corgi. Hey, reshade shaders. You may now close the setup tool or click this button. Okay. So we got them installed. We're going to move on to step five. Once installed, extract at atmo xl.ini from atmo xl.zip to the skater xl install directory. So to get that up easily, guys, I'm going to go to Steam. I'm pretty sure this is where they mean. I'm going to right click here, go to manage, and browse local files. That's going to bring it up here. So now that we got that pulled up, I'm going to go back in here to this. This is extracted. I'm just going to carry it over to here. Uh, shift drug atmo xl.ini into the directory here. Boot up Skater XL. Let the shaders load. Then hit the home button. Bring up reshade and configure. All right. So let's fire up Skater XL, guys. See if this worked. I see reshade has popped up. 4.8.2. All right, so we did step six. We got it booted up with the shaders load, and we did the home button. I just skipped the tutorial for sake of the video. So moving on, step seven, select Atmo XL from the preset drop-down bar and enjoy. We're going to hit the home key, the preset up here at the top. Atmo XL is right here. Select. All right, so here's like all the parameters of it, I think. So you can go in here and tweak these. You see the ones that are enabled with the checkbox. You can click in here and then your sliders are down here. You can kind of tweak that, you know, per map and everything. I like the vignette. I like the uh, VFX, the contrast it added. It added a little bit of, a little, a little bit of swag to it. Hey. That Nolly laser here was nice. You know what? I'm not a big fan of the chromatic aberrations, so I might just turn that off. But I think I like it better without it. All right, gang, that's going to do it for the video today. Hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Um, I literally just followed along with the steps that were on mod.io, but I, like I said, I know sometimes a visual representation can be helpful for people. Uh, myself included so 
Shout out to my visual peeps out there. But yeah, guys, if you found this video helpful at all, please uh, hit that thumbs up button. It helps push it out into the search algorithm so it can help more people like yourself. Um, make sure you leave a comment if you got any questions. I'll do my best to help you out. And uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and hit the bell. We are running a giveaway on the channel right now, so I'll uh, leave a link to that in the description below if you want to find out how to enter to win any game you want, your choice. And uh, we're on the road to 1,000 subs, so definitely help us out. Join the gang. We're about good vibes and having some fun. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> My name is Seth, a.k.a. Nuvicle. Peace out, guys. Thank you.